What's up guys? It's Cameron here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting a vlog. I don't know when I'm going to be recording. It's currently Christmas Eve day. So it's like day of Christmas Eve, 24th. And I haven't vlogged. I've been home since Tuesday from Maryland and I've kind of just been chilling, doing some things. Went to the city yesterday, saw the tree. It was fun. And now I'm getting ready to bake for Christmas tomorrow because I'm going to my uncle's house. Tonight for Christmas Eve, we're just going out to dinner with my family, but I'm just going to like vlog today. Currently like two o'clock in the afternoon. I went shopping this morning. How to do like a last minute Christmas shopping run and then also get some clothes. I didn't have to get clothes, but I did. And now I'm about to bake apple pie and chocolate chip cookies homemade with my mom. She's gonna help me a little bit. And then I'm gonna get ready to go out to dinner and do what I gotta do. And yeah, just like take you guys along with me. I also will do a haul of the clothes that I got. But yeah, this is gonna be like all over the place because I have a lot of things I wanna show you guys. But my mom wants to say hi. Come here, mom. Because she hasn't seen the vlog in a minute. Hi. Hi. I'll only watch when I'm on it. She loves herself so much. We have this fancy. um little apple cutter thing that my mom's gonna cut the apples with i gotta like get the ingredients together i just actually like made this cookie recipe last week um it's this girl miriam from tiktok it's her recipe but i low-key might try a different recipe just because i saw this other recipe with brown butter and it looked so good so i don't know i'm like kind of debating but i'm just trying to like clear up some space on my counter and just get myself you know together because i have a lot of stuff to bake with and i don't know i'm excited i like baking i like cooking in general and I've been trying a lot of cool new recipes with baking and cooking and like I'm excited to kind of start filming it because now that I have more time on my hands, I'll definitely be filming more. Um, my chocolate chip. I also bought um, stuff for me and my sister to make, what are they called? Oreo truffles, but we're not doing that today. Let me get myself together, figure out what I need, and I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right, no, we're getting ready. She <clears throat> I need nutmeg, salt, ground Wait, cinnamon, sugar. Should I move this sugar. apple peeler like so it doesn't go on the floor? Sure. No, I, I like to that. like use recipes from online and just change them up and like do my own thing and add what I, I think got it. taste. So that's kind of what I do. And then, um, so like there's this recipe from Pillsbury of our apple pie recipe. I got the Pillsbury pie crust. I don't make my own pie crust, but I like add my own stuff. So like this just says to use white sugar. I'm gonna use white sugar and brown sugar. And then it also, I also like to add vanilla extract in it because it tastes good. And I don't know, I feel like the way I like play with my recipes and just add my own stuff makes it taste better. My grandma got apple pie or pie pans. Here, when you're done with the apples, put them in this bowl. I'm gonna start the cookies, I think. Max, you wanna show me how I do this? So yeah, I'm gonna make cookies. Do I wanna do the recipe with brown butter or do I wanna do the recipe without brown butter? My brother's here, he's peeling apples, say hi. Hello. We're about to brown our butter. Sorry. All right. Um, so it says to use unsalted butter, but I use salted butter and it came out good. I just don't put any salt in it. And just like let it cook for like five seconds. Oh, just, oh. Just kind of splash. I'm browning my butter. Well, they're cutting apples. Once they're done cutting apples, they'll start the pie. I multitask when I have to spray the pie. It actually stays. Look. Better in there. Is it dark brown? This is light brown. Okay. Great. All right, so for the cookies, I'm like mixing, I'm like zooming in. I'm mixing two recipes. So I used um, a cup of brown sugar and then she just used a cup of regular white sugar. So it's like our wet ingredients in here. And then once the butter's done browning, I'm gonna pour that in here and then put the eggs, vanilla extract, and then I'm gonna put dry ingredients in a separate bowl and whisk them together and then pour everything together. All right, two and three fourths cups of flour. The apple wouldn't come off, Jeez. You almost broke like three things. I know, that was almost a tragedy. Really bad. Oh God. All right, two and three fourths. Oh, I'm oh, a see, mess. See, I didn't make a mess. That's all I'm saying. I see, just... I'm like a good chef, but I'm the messiest chef ever. I, I clean up after myself, though. So. Obviously. Sometimes. I always do. Put that in there. Two and three fourths. Okay. One teaspoon of baking soda. We're just gonna freaking oh, do a time lapse because I'm not even talking. because my kitchen just got so crowded but the cookies are in the oven hopefully they're nice and good and now I'm about to do the pie 
So the cookies, I didn't let the dough cool and they didn't really come out that great, but pies are in the oven now. It's okay, these ones look good. Hey guys, so it's actually days later since I last vlogged. I was gonna start a brand new vlog, but honestly, I feel like why let that footage go to waste? It's currently Monday, December 27th, and it is after Christmas. I wanna kinda give you guys a little update of my Christmas, how it went. Also, I'm gonna do a what I got for Christmas video. I'm gonna do a what I got for Christmas haul. In this vlog, I'm not gonna do a whole separate video just because I didn't I don't want to sound like ungrateful when I say this but I didn't get that much stuff because I got an iPad so the stuff that I got was like either small or like gift cards or just quick little things so I really don't want to do like a whole video also I did say the other day when I was filming that I went clothing shopping and I still want to do that clothing haul I haven't put the clothes away yet so I want to show you guys first I'll do the clothing haul then I'll show you guys everything I got for Christmas then I'll just kind of give you guys a little brief update I also in this video want to give you guys like a recap of my internship because I still haven't done that and I feel like I kind of owe you guys like a little life update. So we're gonna do the clothing haul first, then the one I got for Christmas video. Then we're gonna do a brief little life update. All right, so this clothing haul is from Against All Odds and Mandy. I love Against All Odds. I got two hats, so I just got this one. It says trust number one on it. I'm literally wearing the same shirt as I was in this video. But funny story about this hat. I was bowling with my friends a few weeks later after this video and I was wearing the hat and my friend was like, I really like that, like trust no one. And I'm like, what do you mean trust? no one it says trust number one it says trust number one but it's supposed to like say trust no one and I'm dumb and I just didn't pick up on it so. and I just thought it was cute I'm really trying to like oh no fix up my style a little and just like branch out and then I also saw this green like army green Yankee hat and I thought that was cute Max I'm filming something you're so loud but yeah so this um army green Yankee hat the rest of the stuff that I got is from Mandy I have talked about Mandy on my channel before multiple times I know that Mandy is in like New York New Jersey Connecticut I don't really think it's anywhere else so much I don't really know but Mandy sells a lot of the same stuff as Charlotte Russe I'm sure a lot of you know what Charlotte Russe is basically Charlotte Russe was a clothing store that apparently shut down but I know that they still have some locations open but Mandy gets a lot of the same clothes from Charlotte Russe like a lot of their clothes have Charlotte Russe tags on them and then they also just have other like different sellers of clothes there a lot of the sellers that they have at Mandy actually are sold on like Fashion Nova which I think is kind of cool but I think it's kind of cool because Mandy is like super inexpensive everything's always 50% off super cheap super cute stuff so and they're always like up to the trends which I like like all of my joggers and like sweat sets and stuff that people always ask me about are always from Mandy and I hate that like it's not online so like, you guys can't really like shop it but that's where I get everything so I'm just gonna do a quick haul one of the things I got is a turtleneck that was in my Instagram picture so go check that out but it's actually the same turtleneck as this one I also got it in gray and it's just a size medium it's very fitted and it honestly is like the most perfect turtleneck to wear under things I also got it in black and I honestly want to go back and get it in white I think each of these was ten dollars next I just got this little shirt I've been so into brown and like new lately so I'm excited to style that shirt I've also been really into I feel like such a basic girl like these colors have been so in lately but like this like greenish color I just saw this little like collared shirt and I thought it would be cute to either wear underneath things or just as a fit then I also saw these collared bodysuits so I got one in this nude color and then I also got one in brown then I saw this cute little shirt I thought it would be like a cute going out top even though I literally don't go out it just has this little like chain it's like halter and then it's like this what is this material I don't even know what to call it and then it ties in the back and it's like super open then I just got this plain like white button up shirt I think that it's cute to wear with like joggers and sweats because I wear sweats and joggers a lot so next I saw these dresses they had a bunch of different colors of like these collar dresses and I know that this is more of like a summery color I feel like this color has been like super in for like summertime it's like this like greenish color I don't really know how to explain it but I don't know this was just really cute to me I might not wear it anytime soon but I thought it'd be cute and I could pair some outfits with it so I got that and then I also got it in this print which is so freaking cute especially for like this time of year I am obsessed with it then I just got two sweater vests which I've also been really into they're like shorter ones so I got this one and then I also got it in this color and it's funny because my sister went to Mandy right after me and bought the same exact one um and she posted it on Instagram but you know got this one and I think it's cute if you wear like a turtleneck under and then I also got these pants which I need to exchange them for a size bigger because they run really small there the pants but they're like these flare pants and I think that they're cute if I wear them with a pair of booties so that's everything that I got from 
from that clothing haul. Now I'm gonna do a quick what I got for Christmas haul. So the first thing I got for Christmas is literally my new baby. It is my iPad Air. So I got an iPad Air for Christmas. This is what it looks like. I also got this case. My brother bought me the case. Really nice case. It's a spec case. So um, my mom and my dad got me the iPad and then I got an Apple Pencil. My grandma bought me this for Christmas. Kind of everyone contributed to this gift and then I'm probably gonna buy myself one of those like paper-like screen protectors to add to this. So I'm really excited about my iPad. I'm gonna probably start making my thumbnails on it. Start doing a lot more like creative stuff. Working on like my handwriting, my calligraphy. Probably use it for a lot of planning and also note-taking in school. Even though I don't really note-take in school anymore because I don't really have classes like that. So now it's like my internship and stuff. But I don't know. I feel like this is going to help me so much and I've been wanting an iPad for as long as I can remember. Literally I told my mom, I was like honestly you don't need to get me anything else because I know iPads are expensive. She got me a few other things which I'm so happy about. I'm so grateful for her. So this is my new baby. Okay so the next thing I just got is a Victoria's Secret robe. It's this super silky material. It's like my pajamas from Victoria's Secret that I have. Like it's like this like super like expensive feeling nice silk material short robe and it has this adorable lace on it too which I think is just so cute and I like it because it's long sleeve well it's actually quarter sleeve I think but it's also super lightweight so it's like good when you're doing your hair and makeup so you're not like sweating because right now my fuzzy robe sometimes just doesn't do it for me so that was really cute I asked for that I kind of like just asked for a robe and my mom picked that one so shout out to her because she did a good job with that I didn't really give her like a specific one what else did I get I don't even know a few things are downstairs oh okay over here yes so over here we just have a wax warmer i asked for one for christmas this one is from amazon and it does light up it's really cute and then my sister bought me that was from my mom my sister bought me wax warmers from my friend's company my friend has a company two cents by brie so she got me the vanilla bean one which literally you guys i smelled these in the gift bag before even opening the boxes like that's how strong they are and then midnight munchies and then the libra season one because i'm a libra this i'll probably end up bringing back to my apartment but for now it's gonna chill here i have stuff literally everywhere my mom also got me this little coach um change purse type of thing which i think is going to be really good because i have such a big wallet and i kind of like to have something smaller to throw in like my purse i'm excited about that i can also put it on my keys she also got me like some other random things i put in like here oh no here she got me like new vitamins floss sticks um she got me like she got me like a chapstick, I think, like a Vaseline. Yeah, she did. I don't even remember exactly everything I got. My sister also got me a card game, but I had the card game, so she's exchanging it for a different one. All right, we're gonna go downstairs. So really quickly, I'll show you guys what else I got. I got this pasta pot from Amazon, and you can like drain your pasta in the pot. Like it's, you don't even need a strainer. So I thought that was really cool. I wanted that, I asked for that, sent it to my mom, because I just feel like such an old lady that I'm like asking for cooking appliances, but you know. And then I also got, what? What is this? Why did somebody get a Trump book? Really quickly, don't get it twisted, guys. My family does not support Trump. The book is a book making fun of him, okay? I'm not trying to get into politics out here, but the book is a book making fun of Trump, okay? That my grandma got my dad as a joke because my dad literally hates Trump, so. Before you guys are like, oh, that Trump book, like... Slow your roll. And then I just got these knives. I've been wanting a new knife set. My knives at my apartment literally suck. So this is the Henkel's International Knife Set. And I'm so excited about these because I've been really, really into cooking. And I feel like having new knives like will just save you so much time with cooking because having bad knives makes it so much harder to like cut vegetables and to just like do anything. So I'm really excited about these. And yeah, I can't really remember what else I got. My brother got an Oculus, which is really cool. So like I tried that out. But yeah, this is my Christmas tree by the way. I also just got like some gift cards from family members and stuff which I won't show but like I said I think that's like pretty much everything. I might be forgetting like a few little things but that's pretty much everything I got. Very simple. Very grateful because literally the only thing I wanted was this baby right here and I'm so happy about it. All right so that was the Christmas haul. It's currently 1 50 p.m. I have an allergist appointment really soon at 2 30. I'm gonna leave my apartment around like 2. My apartment or not at my apartment. My house. I'm gonna leave my house around like 2 2 10 maybe. It's like 10 minutes away. I had to reheat my tea because I forgot about it but I want to tell you guys about my allergist appointment really quick so I have an allergist appointment today because when I was younger I used to get chronic hive never figured out why started taking Claritin and Zyrtec every day and it kind of just like went away for years and then more recently it came back I out why I did start a new medication recently so that could be why but I honestly don't know um it's really weird so I'm going to the allergist today to get to the bottom of that I literally was on prednisone all last week because the hives got so so bad that I like just couldn't even deal with it so I got put on prednisone 
hormone which is like a steroid they went away but now i need to figure out what's causing them also that's kind of why if you guys saw my community tab post about how like i know i promised that i was going to do um winter shower routines and holiday shower routines the reason i didn't end up doing them is because literally first of all i had no time to film it while my internship was still going on and then after my internship ended my hives started getting so so bad that i couldn't use any scented products on my body i know that's not what's causing it like the scented products however they didn't help like they were probably making it worse so i just like strayed away from that for a while until i like figured out what was causing the hives which i haven't even figured out yet or until like you know like i knew that there wasn't hives in my body because obviously like you know if you have hives on your body using scented products is not going to make it better it's better to use something like really light so i was trying to stick towards that so i couldn't really film a shower routine and then i was gonna film just like a scent combos video but i got home and then i got so busy and i was like you know what i don't think it's gonna happen this year so i apologize for that but anyways going to the allergy today i'm excited I'm I'm not excited but like i'm ready to figure out what is causing it hopefully they can figure it out and then quick recap of my internship my internship ended on december 17th if you guys didn't know this past semester i was in a student teaching internship so the first half of the semester which was like about a month and a half it was tuesdays and wednesdays two days a week and then i had a thursday class all day and then i also had a tuesday night class and then halfway through the semester it switched to a five day a week internship however i still had the tuesday night class after and that five day a week internship was 8 30 to 4 p.m every day so sometimes later if I had to stay and then I would also have to go home and do lesson plans so that's why I was really MIA for a lot of the semester also because I was dealing with a lot of personal things um my mental health was literally complete trash I don't even want to get into it I'm finally feeling like myself again though which is like really really like great and refreshing super happy about that but yeah it's just been like really crazy and I tried to be consistent but it was just too hard so that's kind of that I love the internship I have definitely gained such a passion for teaching after like getting this experience that I needed I was with the first grade class there was about 24 kids in the class they were amazing loved them loved my mentor she was great she gave me like the cutest like end of the semester gift i'm definitely gonna stay in touch with her and like hopefully get to visit them at some point in january because i'm probably gonna go down to my apartment at some point because my winter break doesn't end until the last week of january so yeah it was really good i'm really happy can't really talk too much about it it was definitely stressful and it was a lot of work and very very time consuming but it was so worth it and i'm so happy that i did it and i definitely miss making videos but had to do this it was an unpaid internship by the way so everything i just had to do for my major that was that and then i also quit my student ambassador job this past semester if you guys didn't know i used to give tours on campus i stopped working there just because i didn't have the time to commit to it and i didn't really want to do it anymore um so i wasn't doing that and then i haven't been working out i just like literally had no time to do anything so finally i feel a little bit better and i feel like i have more time to myself and i really want to be consistent i want to dedicate a lot of time to youtube and just like i don't know doing that because i miss it so much that's kind of a little life update and I think that's everything I'm probably going to I have to make a phone call right now actually to my pharmacy um before I go to my allergist appointment that's pretty much everything I have to edit a few videos today so I'll talk to you guys probably later on in the day I'll let you guys know what happens at this allergist appointment because bro I don't even know what's gonna happen but we'll see it is literally three days later and I look probably totally different from the last clip first of all I got a spray tan yesterday I haven't washed it off yet that's why I look so dark I'm gonna wash it off this morning um, the only reason I got spray tan is because my best friend works at a tanning salon and she wanted me to spray and I wanted to for New Year's. I also got my lashes done yesterday. This is them. But it's been two days since I vlogged. I guess this is just going to be like random days in my life. I don't know why I haven't vlogged in two days. I don't really have a reason. I just didn't. I'm just the worst at vlogging. I don't know what's wrong with me. So um, I'm really freaking tired and I need to like wash my spray tan off and everything. But I didn't eat breakfast first. I'm so hungry. I want to eat yogurt, but I don't have any more strawberries. So we're just going to eat it without the strawberries. So I'm going to get that out right now. And we're gonna eat. Oh. All right, I'm eating. I'm waiting for my tea to be done.
Why is the Keurig right there like that, Mom? They broke the coffee pot. Oh, yeah. It's not a good stop. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We're starting a week in my life vlog and I am actually going to do it this time. It is January 3rd. It is the start of a brand new year and I'm ready for 2022, okay? 2021 was not the best year of my life. Um, it was kind of a disaster. So we're gonna make 2022, did I say 2021 wasn't the best year. 2022 is gonna be my year, okay? And I am ready to start this year on a good note. I just ate breakfast, as you guys saw, I had English muffin, eggs, bananas, and my tea is right here. I'm waiting for it to cool off, but I don't really, oh, never mind, it looks kind of weird. I have black, what is this? Awake English breakfast from Tazo. It's black tea, I love it. And it has a lemon in here, honey, and some ginger, fresh ginger. We have a lot to do today, but before I go back upstairs, I do need to empty the dishwasher, clean the dishes, my camera, is going to die so i'm not going to record me doing the dishes but yeah we're gonna go do the dishes and then head back upstairs all right my camera ended up dying but i just did the dishes now i'm back upstairs i'm gonna take my vitamins vita fusion women's multivitamins so i just take two of these then i take two elderberry vitamins these are just the airborne elderberry flavor immune system gummy vitamins look how cute this starbucks cup is when I saw it, I was in Target. I was like, I need it. Then I just take one probiotic. These are the Garden of Life Women's Daily Probiotics. These are my favorite. They have 40 billion CFUs and 16 probiotic strains. Then I take two Azo primary vitamins. Sometimes I take these at night. Sometimes in the morning. It just depends. Okay, and then... If you guys don't know, I struggle with chronic hives. I think I talked about them a little bit, but basically my allergist has me on like this crazy allergy medicine regimen. So I take two Claritins in the morning. These are just the Costco brand Claritins. Then one Allegra. I just got the CVS brand one. Always gotta save that book because it's literally the store brand is like the same exact medication. And then I have a prescribed medicine, which is Fomodin, which is, I think I said that right. Fomodin, Fomodin, I think I said, I don't know. It's basically a stomach medicine. I don't understand it at all. I can't give you an explanation, but it is the same thing as Pepside, which is stomach medicine. So she just told me to take that. So and then I just use my Flonase, which isn't even for my hives. It's just for allergies in general because i get really stuffy all year round and i also have a dog and i'm allergic to dogs so i always gotta be up on that allergy medicine what do i need to do next i want to show you guys some things that i got recently why am i always doing freaking hauls but why not so last week i went to urban outfitters this is my first time ever shopping at urban and i haven't put away any of this stuff that i got at the mall just because i've been wanting to show you guys and i haven't been filming so here we are um but yeah this is my first purchase at urban outfitters i just got a herschel hat it's just this white one it was 20 dollars, but then i got 10 percent off for signing up with an urban account and it's cute i like it I like wearing beanies and hats. I've been into that. Then at Garage, they had buy one get one 50% off for their sock. So I bought two pairs. I got these ones, which have a little butterfly. They're just brown. And then I also got a white pair that have like a brown little mushroom on them, but they're in the wash because I've already worn them. Then I had to go back to Mandy to exchange a pair of pants and get the bigger size. And I haven't even tried them on yet. They're just these plaid flare pants. I feel like I already showed them. And then I got a brown hoodie, which is literally just plain brown hoodie. It's dark brown. It's in my closet already hanging up because I've already worn it. So I don't feel like getting it out. 
And then I just got a two pack of claw clips, which I already used one. Look, it literally says Charlotte Rosanna. I told you guys, like, they have the exact same companies. But yeah, so I used that. And then I just got these little claw clips, which are like weird shapes. But yeah, so that's everything that I got there. Oh! Then at Target, I got a planner. Um, I really wanted a 2022 planner. Last year, I got a day designer. And if I'm being totally honest with you guys, I really didn't like it that much. Like, I don't know what exactly it was. It just, like, wasn't what I wanted. I'm very picky with planners. But I like this one a lot better. Um, The day designer literally had a page for each day. And it was more of, like, a to-do list planner. Whereas for school, I like to have more of, like, a just, like, regular planner with, like, little slots for each day where I can, like, write my homework and stuff. But honestly, I also have a teacher planner. And most of my stuff is going to be lesson planners. Planning. so this is more gonna be just for like content life school kind of just everything so i'm excited to use this but i also have my ipad so i'm gonna be like digital planning and hard copy planning i thought this was really cute it's the brand blue sky it's the rachel parcel planner so i really like that i got it at target it was literally like 12 dollars, which is so much better compared to the day designer you guys don't even want to know how much i spent on the day designer last year then also at target i got some dry shampoo because i needed some of that and then i saw these which i think are so cool olay like just keeps putting out new body wash and I love the Olay body washes so they have these two it's like the fearless artist series collection and this one is balance isn't even skin body wash it has vitamin c and notes of apple cider vinegar and I just thought the packaging was so cute and I was very intrigued by it and then this one is it nourishes for glowing skin and it's cocoa butter with notes of manuka honey and it was purple I just wanted both I didn't know which one I wanted so of course my extra self got both and then I had to buy my mom some stuff I also from Target bought I finally got We're Not Really Strangers. My sister was trying to buy me this for Christmas, but she accidentally bought me this different game that I already had. So I ended up getting that at Target. And I played it the other day and I really like it. And I just have two Bath and Body Works bags, which is being saved for semi-annual. So we're going to wait on that. But I also got stuff from Forever 21, so it really took to show you. I got some jewelry. Um, it was buy two, get one free. So I got a little silver bracelet. I got, I wanted silver jewelry because I have so much gold jewelry. Got these silver chains and then I just got a silver layer necklace with a little cross. I thought that they were really cute. I love getting my jewelry from Forever 21. I feel like for like its price, it's actually pretty good quality. I mean, like I don't wear it in the shower or anything. But, and then lastly from Forever 21, I have this in gray. It was in my clothing haul that I just uploaded recently, but I saw it in brown and I really wanted it. So I just got this sweater vest in brown and I've been really into sweater vests. I know it seems like I've been doing a lot of shopping because I have. I'm really going to try to like cut the shopping for real, but I almost forgot to show you guys. So I was at the Nike factory, like the Nike outlet, and I saw these on the clearance shelf or rack or whatever, and they just happened to be my size. And these are just the Air Max Plus, and they're this cute gray color, and I just thought they were like the cutest things ever. I'm obsessed with them, and I just got them the other day. I wear them twice, and I think that they're... Just so cute. Now my room's kind of a mess because I just took everything out, but I actually need to put it all away. So I need to like hang up the jewelry and stuff, put away all the clothes. I'm like getting tired already and I need to drink my tea. So I'm gonna get myself together right now and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I just reheated my tea because I did not finish it before and it got cold. And I'm actually making a turkey burger right now. So that's on the stove. And I'm just watching Melanie's new video, Melanie Cruz. I literally love her video. She's my favorite YouTuber right now. They're just so aesthetic and I love her. My skin is breaking out like so bad right now. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna try to make a dermatologist appointment. I also need to make a gyno appointment. Oof, that just reminded me. That was on my to-do list for today. But I didn't even show you guys my to-do list. I already checked some things off. I had to pay my rent. I did that and I had to, I'm editing the Sunday reset routine. So I was just doing that upstairs. I also had to answer emails. Um, I answered all my emails. I need to send out some emails too. So I'm gonna do that eventually. But and then I just need to do some like, scheduling and content planning so i'm gonna do that so that's all part of it and then i'm actually gonna go get my booster shot in like 10 minutes probably after i eat just because i'm gonna try like i don't really know if it's gonna be super crowded probably gonna have to wait online but i'm gonna get my booster shot and then i'm also cooking dinner for my family i'm making my wings which are so bomb i'm gonna record it for you guys give you guys the recipe it is my recipe i got a little bit of inspo from this girl on tiktok but i like changed it and made it my own and just kind of winged it and they're so good like so 
so good so i'm gonna give you guys a recipe and i'm also gonna make homemade fries with that so i'm really excited because i love cooking and i've been really into making like new recipes it's not like the healthiest but so good and i really want my family to try it i made it at my apartment the last time so yeah but i'm just finishing up my tea I'm sitting here watching this video while my turkey burger cook and then i'm gonna eat it then i'm gonna go and try and get that booster shot and then just go from there hey guys so i'm back home i just got my booster shot and i ran to shop breaks i needed to pick up a few things i needed to buy more wings because i don't why did i take out the cinnamon i don't know why it's supposed to be this anyways needed more wings because I just thought there wasn't enough. Now I have so many. But I'm gonna make sweet and spicy wings. This is a recipe that I kind of came up with, kind of got some inspo from. I'll link the TikTok of the girl who's, who inspired me. She did mango habanero wings, but I'm not doing mango. Basically just doing like habanero with like brown sugar and honey. So I'm just calling it like a sweet and spicy wing. Um, they came out really good last time I made them. And I have a little help from Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> Why did you say that? All right, well, anyways, I have chicken in a bowl of water right now because I was trying to let it, like, defrost a little bit. So I'm about to dry these chickens, and then we have to cut them because they're, like, wings. And we want to cut them into drums and flats. Why did I do that? So so much easier to cook in my big kitchen so yeah i'm gonna start drying them this is like a really boring part of the process so i'm gonna skip this part or maybe just like speed it up Yeah, that's where the bone would end. Yeah. Dang. Hey, use this one. Oh. <laughs> that one's not even nearly as sharp. Queasy. I'm not even trying to be dramatic, but the sound of the bones cracking. Don't mind the fan on. So I made this sauce off camera. I put it on a food processor. I used olive oil, butter, two habaneros, chili pe peppers, like fresh chili peppers, um, honey, brown sugar, and then the same seasonings I use on the chicken. Put that on in a food processor and then I put it on the stove. Now it's cooking. I just finished the wings. I did 385 air fry. This is an air fryer and toaster oven in one. Air fried for, at 385, 10 minutes on each side. Now I'm gonna put these in this container and I made my mom lemon pepper wings. So I basically just didn't use flour. They're just like healthier. Just lemon pepper seasoning, garlic, onion powder, and paprika. So I'm gonna take these out. My mom had the lemon pepper wings. What do you rate them? 10. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. Yay. And then these are like the first batch of the sweet and spicy ones that are just like heating in the sauce And then the second ones are air frying right now They have eight more minutes and then I'm gonna put them in the sauce and then I just have to fry the fries which These are the wings the fries are still cooking. They look so good. Oh my god 
Hey guys, so a long time no talk. I actually haven't vlogged in days. Also, sorry the lighting's kind of dark, but we're just gonna deal with it. Okay, that's better. Anyways, I haven't really recorded, but I've kind of done some things here and there the past few days. Like Friday, I went into the city for the first time by myself, and I visited my friends who live in the city. And then the city is like New York City, if you don't know, because I'm in New Jersey. And then yesterday, like I went to my sister's cheerleading competition, and I like we decorated her bed um, for her committing to Rutgers. If you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know what I've been doing. I just I don't know why I haven't been vlogging. See, like, I feel like there is things that I could have been vlogging, but I just haven't, and I don't know why. So I actually really, really want to show you guys how I've been, like, planning and staying organized for the new year, and also, like, some things that I'm trying to, like, implement into my everyday routine during the new year. So I'm gonna, like, get into that right now with you guys, um, and just quickly, like, show you guys. So you guys know I did get my iPad. So basically, I've been using my iPad to do a lot of planning. So I use the app GoodNotes, and I do a lot of planning on here. So I have a few different books on GoodNotes. So basically with GoodNotes, like, you can make, like, different books and you can do notes so i have like a content planning book a to-do list book so for content planning i basically like just do this so like i'm laying out my videos which i just like write the title of the video at the top and then like brand deals i'll just write like brand deal and i'll write what brand it's for and then i'll plan out like what video i want to put it in so that's kind of what i've been doing and then i also have been writing my daily to-do lists in here so I just like use the little shape tool to make like a circle and then I'll write what it is and then I'll just like highlight it and fill the bubble in when I finish the task. That's how I've been writing my to-do list every day. Then on top of that, I also do use my notes app sometimes. Like I have a lot of things in my notes app, but I've been trying to veer off of that. Same thing with like my reminders app. I used to use my reminders app religiously and I'm trying to do it more handwritten just because it's like fun on the ipad like to write it and i feel like writing it like it's just like okay like i'm literally writing it down like it's also kind of like going in my head a little bit too so i feel like i've been trying to like do that more so i'm trying to veer away from those apps and like just mainly use good notes for my planning purposes and then i'm on top of that i also use like my calendar app the apple calendar i use that for more of like my day-to-day -day, like just regular life planning like doctor's appointments plans with friends and then for content like when i want to film content when content's due to brands when i want to upload content i use google calendar for that um so i've been using those but then i also picked up this planner from target recently which i showed it in my target haul but it's the rachel parcel for a blue sky planner it's so cute and i really like it i actually wanted to get more of like a book type of planner this time rather than like a small one i wanted like a big one that's like notebook size um just because it's like more space to write so i've just been using my planner a lot so like this is like my january calendar um during school it's going to be even more filled up because i'm using this mainly for school purposes and then regular life so like doctor's appointments will be on here plans with friends payments will be on here school stuff will be on here and then i'm trying to just keep content solely on google calendar but for now i've been kind of throwing content on here like like mainly just brand deal content not like filming or editing or like those kind of things like that's more all going on my google calendar but this is just like important stuff with content i also have like phone calls on here and just stuff like that so my january calendar has just been like planned i have like like different colors like i have like a little key here so like any appointments whether it's doctor's appointments nail hair whatever that's like highlighted in pink phone calls is highlighted in blue payments in purple plans are in gray which is like plans with friends and stuff content is in orange and then school is in purple right now i just have like a broad school thing because sometimes i have to like do little things for my major so i'm gonna have to like reach out to my new mentor for next semester i'm gonna have to like take like a certain test so that's on here um stuff like that and then during the next month i already kind of started planning february and i have specific colors for specific courses so it's a little bit more specific when the actual semester starts because my semester doesn't actually start until january 31st so mainly all of my school related stuff is going in the february calendar and so on and so forth so i've really been liking that and i've been trying to stay really organized for this new year you guys know i'm pretty organized as it is but i'm trying to really stay consistent with it and find a method that really really works for me um, and i've also been trying not to overwhelm myself with too much of like a lengthy to-do list because I find that I don't get things done and I overestimate my time and my productivity and I don't get the things done that I want to and then I'm hard on myself so I'm really trying to like not overwhelm myself with too much on my to-do list and then besides that for the new year I've just been trying to read more so I've been reading the you are a badass how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life and this is by Jen Sincere I just have the sticker on it still I've been liking this book I've only read a little bit of it so far I have a goal to read at least a chapter a day but I've been a little bit busier this week with stuff 
and it just hasn't really happened so we're gonna really try to read this and i'm gonna try to finish it by the end of january which it should not take me that long but i don't read religiously and then i'm also making sure to write in my five minute journal every single day which i definitely fell off from it so i'm trying to get back on that and then i also have a journal book on my good notes app on my ipad so i've been trying to just like regularly journal on my ipad as well and use like journal prompts and then i'm also reading on my ipad this book i actually found online for free brandon actually was the one who told me about it but it's called the daily stoic and every day of the year has a different like page that has a quote and then it explains the quote and it's just motivational stuff so yeah i've really been liking doing that so those are just some things that i've been trying to implement into my routine um some new year's goals i've actually written down my new year's goals on my ipad i made a vision board um i don't know if i showed that on this vlog i might have this vlog has been like over the course of a lot of time and then i also wrote in my planner there is a yearly goals section so i wrote a ton of yearly goals so at the end of the year i can go through this and hopefully i would have checked most of these off that's the goal we're gonna keep staying organized 2020 writing in my planner every single day writing to-do list every single day just keeping my life as together as possible so i'm glad i got to like talk to you guys about that because i really wanted to include that in this vlog um i feel like this vlog is like i said over the course of a lot of days but it's more so me showing you guys things telling you guys things updating you rather than just showing you like my day-to-day -day, like what i'm doing um because i just haven't been doing that but yeah i'm actually going to maryland tomorrow morning i'm gonna stay there monday through friday and most of the time i'm gonna be staying at my boyfriend's apartment because i'm just there to spend time with him he's there working um so i'm gonna be spending time with him for the most part but i'm gonna just like take a lot of time to relax but i'm also gonna like take the mornings to edit and stuff so i'm really trying to like get consistent i have a few videos that i need to film today and i want to edit one of them tonight and upload it tomorrow so that's the goal it's currently 2 p.m and i've actually like done a lot it might not look like it in my pajamas but i've done a lot of content planning i've done a lot of just life planning i ate breakfast and lunch and yeah so we're getting our live together okay in a few minutes i'm gonna make my bed and then go from there all right guys hours have gone by of course i didn't vlog but honestly i might wrap this video up and just kind of just post it as is even though it wasn't anything like crazy i'm so tired oh my god i want to start a new vlog tomorrow so that's why i'm like thinking about just closing it out tonight and i didn't vlog after i last spoke to you guys because i ended up falling asleep for like two hours and then after i woke back up i laid in bed and then at like 5 30 i went and filmed a coffee scented shower routine so that'll be up really soon and then i filmed a my semi-annual sale haul for Bath and Body Works finally. It took me long enough. And I got Wendy's for dinner. And I've just been like editing and chilling all night. But I've been wanting to show you guys something that I got like a while ago. So like a lot of this stuff is Christmas related. And obviously Christmas has passed. I've used a lot of this stuff. But I threw it all in this box. Because it was all downstairs. So I threw it all back in the box just now. So that I can bring it all upstairs easier to show you guys. Just because like even though it's Christmas related. I feel like it's never too late to show you guys. Because she's like you can still buy stuff from her and she's doing the same thing again for valentine's day so i've actually talked about her in my videos before but the company um is berry customs on instagram i will have everything down below for you guys she is a small business and she sells custom starbucks cups and tumbler cup um and for the holidays she was doing holiday baskets and she was nice enough to send me one and also send my sister one which i'm not showing you guys my sisters but a lot of you may have seen me show it on my instagram story i actually showed it on my instagram story a while back before christmas so i'll show you guys the cup um i really do like the cup a lot so i've used it a few times but it is like christmas related so i'm just gonna like hold on to it for next christmas but i do have like three other cups <laughs> three other cups from her or two other cups from her um i have gotten these for gifts for people before too but this one just says all i want for christmas is coffee and it's so cute she put like little like um christmas trees mittens like things like that around it and i just thought it was so so cute and then it has the starbucks logo and i just love having tumblers my mom's like sick of me and my sister constantly getting tumblers because we have no space for them but like literally i love them so much and this girl is just she's just amazing veronica she does the cutest one um this is something else that she actually gave me that i haven't tried yet which i still want to try it out it's the peach and lily glass skin veil mist hydrate and glow um so it's just like a skincare product and it was so nice that she sent all this stuff like i literally am so grateful that she did that so it just looks like this the packaging is like so nice so i'm excited to try this i haven't tried it out yet and then she also sent this out which i also haven't tried this is the um amnh unicorn dreams whipped body butter but it smells so so good it smells like very sweet and i really like it she also sent over this brightening facial mask which i haven't used yet but i will use it but she also sent a jade roller 
which I think is great. She sent like a lot of candy and stuff too. She sent this holiday candle, which I didn't get to use this holiday season, but I'm gonna save it for next holiday season. So it just says Christmas candles, lavender. So it's lavender scented. It smells really good. It's in this little tin can. Oh, this is just, um, it's the instructions. She always sends like little instructions on how to take care of her cups and how to like wash them. She sent over, oh wait, I threw these back in there. I've actually, I actually wore these already, but um, she sent over these little cute Santa set fuzzy socks. Um, she sent over a card which was cute i saved the card i sent over like candy and stuff which i've ate a lot of it but i have some like candy canes that came in like this little box um i haven't used this yet but she sent over this cute little scrunchie this i was waiting to take out of the package i'm going to put this on my keys now that i've showed you guys it but it's this little keychain that just says my name on it and she knows that i like purple because she always gives me purple stuff and it just looks like this and it's so cute I sent over a lip gloss she sent over this little hand sanitizer with this cute little case for it Oh, she sent over this exfoliating mitt, which I'm definitely going to be using. She sent over these mask remover sponges. So, like, when you do, like, a face mask, you wipe them off with this. Um, a lip mask, which I'm definitely going to be using. I love using lip masks. She sent over eye patches. She also sent me over two ornaments, which... I put on my Christmas tree so now they're like in a box in my garage with all my Christmas ornaments so I can't show you guys those but they were so cute I think that was everything from what I can remember like I said a few things I took out and used but I tried not to use most of the stuff so I could show you guys so yeah shout out to her she's amazing Veronica definitely gonna have everything linked down below for you guys to check out I'm glad I finally got to show you guys this box because I've been wanting to show you guys it but yeah so I'm gonna conclude this video here I don't even know what I'm gonna call this video I don't know how I'm going to do this thumbnail but I feel like there was a lot of footage that I want to keep but not enough of like my just daily routines it was just like me showing you guys stuff a lot of hauls so but yeah i am probably gonna just like go to sleep in a little bit because i want to wake up in the morning and get myself together to go back to my apartment because i haven't packed anything so i'm gonna talk to you guys in my next video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment down below hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys